Hi guys and welcome to the Savvy Money Show. If you're enjoying the entertainment in today's video, don't forget to hit that lovely like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, getting it out to as many people as possible. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, bell notification. You'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, if you haven't signed up for a free trading platform there are links down below to trading 212 free trade and uh, stake where you'll get a free share for using the link below signing up and depositing a small amount and full disclosure so will i on with the channel on with the show i've been asked to do a review of all companies and specifically asked to leave total out okay i understand i've done a review of total versus a couple of oil companies and so we'll get on with it uh, i have gone through like royal dutch shell Exxon, Mobile, Chevron, and Total Truth have gone through about 20 different oil companies. I, I've done price to book, I've done intrinsic value, I've done the income they have on hand, I've done analysts, what the analysts think of them, I've done the PE ratio, I've done dividends, uh, I've gone through about 30 or 40 different data points, check them, and I was surprised with the outcome, tell the truth. Now, I still stand by what I said, how uh, total because of the restructuring they've had, because I believe an oil company needs to be more than just an oil company nowadays, where all the companies are signed up to go green by 2050. They, some have signed up to go earlier. I believe they need to have invested in green energy however i didn't put that into my evaluation because i was asked just from a company based point of view and i come up with two companies which was a surprise for me and first one Enterprise Products uh, Products Partners and they are they have a dividend of 10% and a PE of 9 and Imperial Oil to tell the truth whoever asked me to do this thank you because I'd never heard of them before I started doing this, uh, a P ratio of 13 and dividend of 4 cent. And we can. Hold on. So, let me. Let me see. Uh, Okay. Right. So, right. So, for three months to twenty twenty. The net income revenues 
revenues decreased 12 percent net income applicable to common stockholders increased six percent to 1.33 billion revenues reflect the natural gas pipelines and service segment decrease of 15 percent and it benefited from changing fair market value of liquidity decrease of 96 percent 2.3 million asset impairment and related charges increase decrease of 67 percent now they are not just an oil company they deal with natural gas as well and petrochemicals and all the refined products uh, they include the pipelines and services as well as uh, that's, they deal with the storage which and transportation and all the import and export of it now we know at the moment the storage is hot hot thing you can charge a lot for it and uh, basically when it says marine transportation business that that means tankers but it's purely from United States so it's from United States to United States but it still means that they can charge a lot for it and they, they again it says 9 on Yahoo Finance 8.5 here but it's still has a profit margin of 14 and a debt to assets of 60% I think this is a good company because it's not doing as bad as uh, the other companies are doing at the moment if remember I'm not a financial advisor it's, all these companies could tank and you could say well you should have picked one that's backed by Donald Trump or you should have picked like Shell or BP someone uh, uh, Shell has cut their dividend and that's why they're doing better but on paper if you look at this and I have just invested I've just bought six shares in this myself if you look at this I think you'll find that's a good company to tell the truth apart from total I was staying away from oil because this is a diversified oil company I I just think uh, that this and that both and Imperial Oil now Imperial Oil is a non-trading 212 it's on stake which has a link to and below I'm not sure if it's on free trade uh, or Robin Hood I'm not on Robin Hood or Weeble or any of them because they're not in the UK but uh, before investing please do your own due diligence and if you've enjoyed any information please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already thank you